What up everyone, welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Welcome to some Need for Speed Heat. This time I actually did get the game right because I wanted to just make sure that you guys actually understand this is Need for Speed Heat that I'm playing right now. And it looks insane because of this crazy stance mod that I added onto the game. So of course I ended up making a video of this. It's actually, it's actually my car is literally too low right now. You can see it like clipping through the floor. You can even see the E30 in the background that I have. Actually, let me go back and show you guys. <laughs> My E30 is literally in the floor. If I go out and drive it, it's, it'll be fixed. It's fine. You know? Oh, it's the same with my R30. <laughs> it's just the same with my R34. Anyway. Uh, basically, uh, this is the stance mod that I have on uh, Need for Speed Heat. And it's really, really safe. As well as the Unite mod that, of course, adds an extra set of, uh, you know, graphics upgrades and changes and stuff like that. Lighting changes that just make the game look much, much better than, than you know, standard. And then, obviously, the stance mod, which is this. Obviously, I'm not going to be driving this car. I have no idea what car I'm going to be driving, but I'm going to be going into the dealership. I'm going to buy something brand new, and I'm going to build it up and turn it into uh, a stance build like this. I mean, this is not the way my car actually sits. Um, it just, the game literally just lowered it for me. Uh, but yeah, there's no air suspension or anything like that. I'm going to just, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go leave this. I think my car is lifted slightly now, so I shouldn't clip. I think it's only when I'm in the garage there, it just clips a little bit. But this looks absolutely mental. Yes, to some people this looks stupid. Me included, I don't think this, like, looks good. Okay. I also changed the driving physics of this game, so it looks a little better. It looks a little better when I'm driving around. It doesn't look like I'm I'm gonna hop into a drift every single time I turn a corner. Again, the the graphics changes in quality and everything like that has changed on this, so it all looks really really good. Uh, I need to go to the dealership, so I'm just gonna fast travel there, and we'll grab something. Uh, and I'm just gonna fully slam this thing to the floor. Again, like I said, this may not be to everybody's taste. You know, to some people that are watching this video right now, you may like this. Uh, I'm not really a person that enjoys a lot of these extant like, builds, but I like that people keep them really really clean. You know, like the, the show cars and stuff like that. People build, they slam them to the ground. I know that that's like their scene and whatever, but um, just how clean all the cars are, right? Like how like very nicely built everything is. Like nothing's like over the top. Yes, so people do take, you know, slamming the car uh, very, very over the top. But I want to go ahead and build something that's, that's, um, that's a little bit more, you know, to my liking. Really, really low, but to my liking. Um... The Ferrari Tester also is one of them that I have in my garage that I wanted to mess with as well. So I think I might take that out too. But not in this video. In this video, I want to buy something. I want to buy something fresh. Something that I don't think I've built before. Ooh, I'm kind of tempted with a Panamera. Panamera would seem pretty nice. I could go with the the VAG group. The VAG. The VAG. <laughs> I could go with one of these guys and do it. A lot of people love doing that to their, to their VW cars. But I think the Porsche Panamera, again, it's still a VW Group car. I'm doing it. I'm buying this thing. I'm going to make it, obviously, a little faster, but... Oh, man, I love the driving physics. It's so good. This sounds crazy for a stock car. It's so much smoother to drive the cars. I'm trying to get it to oversteer. Oh, it is oversteering a little bit, but it's so hard because it just doesn't want to do it. Alright, can I... Okay, I just want to lift the handbrake and see what happens. Yeah, it's so different to driving the car just normally, <laughs> you know? <laughs> In uh, in the normal version of the game, Hold my wrench. Somebody's got a new I do have a new ride. It's a Porsche Panamera. Let's let's actually do stuff to this. Let's let's see what can I possibly do to this car. I don't think I've ever built one of these things, and especially with the whole kit on it. Do I want to put an aftermarket body kit on it. See, I don't know if I do. I don't mind putting like a little a little lip, a little a little diffuser on the bottom end, but I don't really know if that will look kind of nice. See, here's the thing as well with all these uh, VW group cars, the way that 
the way people build them, you know, there's, it's just such a minimalistic, like, design or, or look to the cars themselves. So they don't really, like, do much to them. You know, they still look very close to stock, which is kind of what I like. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, I think. I'm going to make this wide body, but I'm going to leave the standard bumper front. For the front end, anyway. Let's have a look at the back end. Anything. See, the back end doesn't look that bad. It's, it's just a little... Just a little bit more... Or vented, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one here. Uh, as for the diffuser, the lower end here. Do I want to pick anything that... Oh, actually, I, the first one I don't really mind. Okay. We have our exhaust kits here as well. Which I'm down to change if we have anything that's a little bit more... More standard or more stock. I kind of like these ones that are sort of hidden in here. These ones here. Oh, is that single pipe and this is dual pipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're doing, we're doing twin pipes. Or one pipe on each side. Those wheels are so wide. Oh my god. I don't think I don't think it says it. I'll, well, I'll get to them eventually and we'll see how how wide those, those wheels are. My god. We have some massive, massive wings here. Um, oh my god. Okay. I'm probably not going to do anything that, with that. <laughs> As for the taillights, I like the slightly darker ones. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put these on. I really like the new Panamera. The new Panamera looks good. The Panamera Sport Turismo though. Oh. Panamera Sport Turismo is definitely it. I'm going to go with the Al Alchemist side skirt here. Again, the front bumper, I don't really want to change it. I feel like... See, like it doesn't look terrible. Oh, I don't know. It just goes in too deep, I think. It looks a little bit like a 350Z for some reason. From that angle. I don't really want to do anything there with that. Um, again, I'm going to build this thing, like I said, as clean as I possibly can. So I'm not going to do anything super, super crazy when it comes to to uh, to the bumpers and stuff like that. Okay, wheels, I'm definitely going to end up changing. Wheels are going to get changed 100%. Uh, as for the windows, I'm down to go with a little bit of tint. Why not? Again, headlights, I'm not going to change anything there. Uh, canards. Oh, we can put canards. I don't really want those. All right, I'm going to try see if I can find a set of wheels. Ooh, we got some Unite wheels. Okay. Why are these in the game for this guy? 3SDM wheels. We got BBSs. There's a lot of different types of wheels for this. Oh my god. They, did they add more? I think they might have added more. Or maybe I haven't really paid attention. I might go with a set of rotiform wheels on this thing. I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm I might go with something like these, for example. Again, they're super, super clean, right? It's not really my thing. I probably wouldn't end up doing Or HREs. HREs are fancy ass wheels, man. Vossen or Vorsteiners. Definitely not what Nabi wheels. Some wed sport wheel uh, or weds, whatever. Um well, racing wheels, no. Got some Workmeister wheels. I like that most of these, like, fit this car nicely. I think I might go with those set of wheels. I might go with those set of rotiforms. These just remind me of Bentley wheels. Am I the only one that thinks these, these look like Bentley wheels? I think rotiforms suit this thing for the type of look that I'm going for, anyway. I don't know. Some people may like it, some people may not like it. I'm gonna go with those wheels. Cost. Can I then go ahead and change the size? Oh, I can make them smaller. Okay, I'm not I'm not making it smaller. Um I do, however, want to change the tires. I wanna get some stretch tires on this thing. Uh I don't want any text or anything like that. Obviously, this is gonna be so much lower than before as well. Our calipers are gonna keep the same, brake tests are gonna keep the same. Let's go to the rear wheels and do the same thing. Get to those wheels nice and quick. There we go. Uh, and pretty much do the same thing. Just go with the stretched standard tires. There we go. Now if you back out, go all the way back, and then go into stance. Okay, there's, there's quite a bit here. There is quite a bit. I can even change tire diameter for all this. Height. Okay, we can go really, really low for height. That's good. 
I think I'm because I'm low all the way. That, that doesn't really make a difference. Camera for my front wheels. Okay, and this will make it fully static like this, by the way. So it's not gonna be. Okay, I'm not gonna go with full full camber for both of those wheels. I'm gonna keep them somewhat like that. That looks mental. That looks so. N Look how low it is. Oh my god, I can bring them out even more. Should I go full? Okay, let's let's just have a look and see what this looks like. If I bring the wheels out even more. I can't, it doesn't even work. It doesn't even work if I bring them out all the way. Oh my god. Okay, you can see how much everything changes. Obviously, everything's gonna start clipping. If I leave it like this, but... That looks mad. There you go. That is crazy. So again, this is what the mod does. It just sort of makes or takes everything more to the just to the extreme. Again, I'm not really that type of person to put heavily cambered wheels like that on, on any car. So I'm gonna do that really quick and try to make this look a little bit more, I guess, respectable. Okay, it looks something like this. Obviously when it's when it's outside and it'll look a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna go with paint and wrap. I'm gonna change the paint on this thing uh, from the brown and change it to something else. Oh, we can have carbon flakes? Color shift carbon? What? I never actually knew about this. It's like a chrome brown. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna go with... Just a metallic type of paint. And I'm gonna then... Uh... Look for a color that I probably will like more than that. There is a blue that these get... That I kind of like, so I might put it in blue. Do I not have the? I, I guess I don't have the standard colors because I picked the I picked the car and just bought it. Uh, saturation is fine. Brightness, tiny bit darker. Okay, that's fine. Color shift single <laughs> near opposite. No, we're leaving that the way it is. Fine metallic flake. Oh my god, it's so weird looking in chrome. Brush, metal, definitely don't want that. Black carbon, carbon. Forged carbon? That's mad. Okay, well, we're, I'm keeping this as a, just a normal metallic paint. I'm not going to put any decals or anything on it. Uh, and the wheels are fine the way they are. I wanted them to stay that color. I, I didn't want to change anything there. Yeah, and you save, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And that, I guess, is pretty much it. Now, if you go to into effects, again, like I said, air suspension is broken. So if I add it, it just does that. So I'm not going to put air suspension on my cars. Because there's literally no point. I can put uh, neons or anything like that. I don't really want that. As, as for backfire, do I want to do anything there? I don't think so. Uh, what's exhaust on? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to also upgrade this thing performance-wise. I'm just going to upgrade it with what I have. I'm not going to put, like, anything brand new, or I'm not going to buy anything brand new. So I'm just going to put, like, you know, whatever I have here, which is just Elite Plus. I'm not going to go with, like I said, something crazy or anything like that for the car. And just pretty much put what I have unlocked here. Um, I have a supercharger. I can supercharge this thing. I'm down. NOS, I don't care for that. As for my suspension, we can get it so this drives a little bit better, I guess. Oh, if I put rally suspension, it goes even higher. Uh, obviously, showcase the track suspension doesn't really make a difference too much. I am... I'm gonna buy track suspension, just because I want it to be on this car. Uh, as for the brakes, I feel like brakes matter a lot by the way this drives, even though I'm not gonna be flooring it around anywhere, driving this thing. Uh, that's actually kind of cool that it gives you specific tires. I have drag radios as well. That's really cool. It gives me different tire compounds, but I don't think it, it changes the actual way the car drives, does it? Okay, I'm gonna just buy these and put them on. That's fine. Uh, the clutch is fine. This is on Elite Plus with an 8 speed. Diff, I'm gonna change the diff as well so it drives a little bit better. I'll just do it more to track, I guess. And that's pretty much it. 
I'm gonna bring around during the day, just so we can actually have a look at this thing, just the way it is. Again, very clean look on this car. And it's, uh... It looks, it looks decent. I wish you could make the wheels a little bit bigger, though. Honestly. They clip a little bit when you're turning. This sounds mental. Whoa, this sounds so good. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds insane. What the hell? That is crazy. What does it drive like though? Oh, went a little too fast there. Oh, this is so much better to drive, man. I love these driving physics. Again, you you like lose traction normally, and you have to counter steer to. You have to counter steer to control it. I can't get over this sound. It's just way too good. Even the sound of normal cars. Watch this. I genuinely have to counter steer with this thing. It's weird. It's like the game doesn't play for me anymore. That is mad. The sounds are, are the craziest thing, I think. But this looks mental as well. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I think it looks so good. Again, it's it, I, I just like how clean it looks, you know? I'm not really a big fan of the whole stance scene or anything like that, but I, I love how clean it is. Oh, I don't care about doing that. I, I just want to come over here and just park my car. Again, I'm going to try not to make my wheels clip either. But I want to pack this up and just at least like take a picture of it. Okay. I feel like we need this, this level of customization in like forest and stuff like that. Like, I mean, the mod just makes it so much cooler. Um, oh, that's not it. How do I turn my engine off again? There we go. That is crazy. There we go. And there it is. That is pretty much how low the car is right now. That's as low as it can get. Again, I, I still do wish that we could get it to be... Uh, to have slightly bigger wheels. You can still see, like, quite a decent amount of the tire, which I kind of want a little bit less tire. But that's what the stance mod does. If you guys have any suggestions for any future builds you guys want me to do, some, something clean like this, I guess... Let me know, but this is pretty much what we're working with here. This is the uh, Porsche Panamera, wide-bodied, very clean stance build. That's probably what I'm going to be calling the series. It's just a, a stance build series. Well, yeah, I guess that's it. If you guys enjoyed today's video on this build, and if you want to recommend something else for me to try out, especially with this um, with this mod, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try it out, and uh, I'm going to do some more crazy things, and hopefully even take some stuff to the extreme. Um, I'm down to go full camber, full everything, just on some cars, just to see what they look like. But, yeah, for now, this is pretty much it. Thank you guys very much again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.